think so. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, toiling away at it for a bit over a week. And it's good to have it off my back. <laughs> Let's get this thing loaded while we have the uh, countdown thing going. <clears throat> I don't think it'll be a super long stream tonight, because I do want to stream, uh, do a good long stream of Caesar 3 tomorrow, because I, uh, I haven't done that in a while. And um, well, I also need to adjust the schedule, because we're going to have Caesar 3 on Tuesdays as well now. So we're going to do a Monday, Tuesday Caesar 3 schedule. Uh, up until the new year, I think. And a couple of easy exams, and yeah, yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> what are you? What are you taking, Chill? Nice, good for you, C Fusion. I still have to write my master's thesis, of course, uh, but that's going to be a after the New Year's thing. Damn neats. <laughs> well, it's the math engineering stuff, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not doing anything uh, nearly so useful. I'm an art scrub. There you go. Yeah. Let's get rid of this pre-stream thing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it neat to uh, someone who is not in education? They're just straight up unemployed. And uh, are specifically not working or studying. Pretty sure that's the definition of a neat. All right. Mm. <laughs> I'm not lecture right, right this moment? Okay. Well. I guess I'll be a neat all of next semester because uh, that's when I'll be writing my thesis <laughs> and it won't be in any lectures ever. Ugh, God, freaking trees, can't see anything. All right, so I think for this stream I'm um, mostly going to be working on um, building, finishing my garage because I really want to do that. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. All right, take your points. Uh, take your points there, uh, although I do work as well, so I do have a job. Um, although it's it's a job with the federal government, so it, it hardly counts as work. Um, all right. Uh, I should also make sure I've got plenty of bullets on me, because uh, the pot is really high. <laughs> Double neat. I mean, extra neat. All right. We can accept that. I accept my fate as extra neat. Yeah, right. Because I'm not. I'm not currently taking classes, so that doesn't. Uh, that doesn't count. Uh oh, I think there's a uh, out. Yep, there was a dog over there. Oh, let's harvest him for meat. Oh, there's also a zombo. Alright, got him. Okay. Let's get back to working on Glorious Garage. Do. Can you hear something running around out there? Do, do, do. Uh, this game always kind of looks like shit. <laughs> Thanks, roommate. Are you home? I didn't even hear you coming. Yeah, the game is just not very pretty. 
I also don't have the graphics turned up very high. Something through the window like a ninja. Uh, be a very impressive ninja. He was never out. No. Just hanging off of the uh, hanging off the ninth floor windowsill all night. chugging water and you could juice so we can keep mining out glorious garage oh the uh, cooldown is almost done I should probably go uh, get some construction materials actually so let's do that damn it garage Oh, that's really cute. Maybe that's all uh, all she needed this whole time. Just uh, just someone to meow with her. Willow is a uh, roommate's cat. She loves to meow. Okay, we've got to... Uh... We should get a basket of kittens. Oh my god, no. <laughs> One cat is more than enough. Uh... Oh, I actually have a doorknob on me. Melt that down. <laughs> 17 should suffice, yeah. Mm. I think I'll be the uh, the Grinch in this situation and say no. Mm. Got some iron I can toss into the iron forge. Alright, uh. I find eight. Okay. Yeah, that's a reasonable compromise. You know, eight eight sounds. That's like a good compromise uh, situation there. Uh, let's see. Uh, got some blocks. Mm. There we go. There's some concrete. Is that really all the concrete I have? Hmm. And I guess I don't have any... Oh no, there we are. Okay. Okay, good. Mm. Oh, and then there's a lot more concrete here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, did this actually give more stamina regen than water? 15... That gives uh, 20, okay, also 20. So the tea and coffee are better for that, all right. Mm, great. Also, I should, well, I've got an awful, awful lot of ammo. Uh, how much nitrate do I have? I have a lot of nitrate. Um, is there any coal in there? Got some coal here. All right, let's uh, let's get some more gunpowder on the go while I'm thinking of it. And we could use more coal at some point, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be uh, that would be the case. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's the future Horde Knight uh, structure. I don't want to work on that tonight. I want to. I just want to build my garage. Just man in his garage. That's all this is. This stream's going to be. No, I don't have any cobblestone rocks. Oh well. Do do do. And I guess while I'm out of stamina, I can just place these blocks and work on those. Uh, oh, thanks, Zippy. Does it being Sunday mean there's no pizza or something? And hello, and welcome. Thank you very much for that damage boost. It's very helpful in uh, completing the construction of garage. I see. And if you can't get the best pizza place, there's, there's just no point in getting pizza then, right? Hey, thanks again, Zippy. I should really put a switch on uh, the inside of the garage so that the uh, doors stop opening and closing like that. Pizza is good pizza. Well, <laughs> I would like normally I would agree up until, and I think most people would agree up until they've had really bad pizza, and then they uh, then they don't agree with that anymore. I think it's on cool cool down FGs. Unfortunately, Dark Young would object. Oh, this is true, he would. He would say, uh, all pizza is bad. Yeah. Due to its association with pizza. Pizzerific, that is. Um... Well, he doesn't like pizzerific. Or it says that pizzerific is the worst, so. That has uh, colored pizza as being bad uh, for Dark Young. I think he's joking. <laughs> Most of the time. Oh, that too, yeah. That adds to the, uh, the pizza hate. Okay. All right, that is actually starting to really annoy me. Uh, so I'm going to go make a switch so that the uh, the doors stop stop opening like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just be uh, I'll just be meme and hard in that game. Go to maximum Soviet Union. 
Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to build a switch. Um, switch. What do I need? Uh, forged iron, mechanical, and electrical parts. Maybe I should make a relay as well. And we're just gonna chill here and wait for it. Do do do. I have a wire tool with me. Oh, I had a switch and a relay already. Damn. Uh, it's a wire tool. Oh, and actually, I want these. Um, where are those vault doors? Uh, there we go. Powered vault doors with me too, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be building a um, an escape route. Uh, well, not an escape route, but a uh, a quick route out the uh, back of the garage. Okay, so this light sw this switch is gonna go here. Yeah, I think it looks good there. Um, is the switch also a relay? Hmm. Uh, right, so we disconnect to you from there. You go from here. Oh no, I just uh, okay. Uh, right, so I want you going from here oh it's too far okay uh, so let's put a relay over here then I guess mm, sure oh yeah we need the uh, So you go from here to there. Uh, then I think it needs to go to the light switch. Then from light switch to the to the thing. Also, these guys, I don't want to. Um... Okay. Is this thing. Oh, okay, it got disconnected. Uh... Alright, so then you. Need to go into this thing. And you also go into this thing. Is that how it works? Oh, no, no. It needs to go from here into this garage door. Yeah, okay. Great. So then if I flip the switch, it closes. If I flip the switch, it turns on. Nice. Okay. Whoop. And I want you just going into this light. And into that light so the garage just stays lit. 
Great. And okay, so now the garage won't be so annoying and just opening and closing all the time. I need a little bit of cobblestone. Uh, okay, so the thing I wanted to do was um, coming straight out from here. Yeah, right here. I want this. I want this vault door hanging out here. Okay. Okay, so that door isn't going to open because um, it needs a uh, needs a power source, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Can I just put it in like that? Oh, okay. So because it's powered. It's either on or off. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need a sensor for the door that will open when it sees me coming. Uh, okay, and I think I have I have spare sensors uh, up by the base. So are you pumped because you want to uh, beat up the noobs, or uh, just to see how how it all turns out? Okay. No crafted items. Here we go. Yeah, because I'm going to need a relay. Uh, oh, also, I need a sensor. Uh, sensor. Let's make one of those. It's going to take a moment. Mm, I guess while I'm waiting for that to craft, we can ditch some food items. stuff back in the appropriate spot. Okay. Mm, you can go in here. Okay. Is that sensor done? It is. Great. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, where's the sensor? Here it is. And. Um. That is kind of interesting. Um. It's about um, ah shoot. Um, it's about uh, patronage in uh, Russia and Tatarstan and nationalism. Um, it's sort of how. Um, how does how did nationalism affect those two things um, in um, in Russia and Tatarstan? Um, 
the too long uh, didn't read of it is um, basically um, this is an effect that like the main effect is sort of um, how they uh, how they justify uh, their actions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it's interesting, but it's not like uh, crazy interesting. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it certainly wasn't my as the most the funnest paper I ever wrote was on um, Russia's policy towards like um, self determination, or basically what decided whether Russia would uh, decide to. Um, like recognize a country as independent or whatever uh, and the answer is obviously geopolitics uh, as it like pretty much always is for any country it's always about geopolitics Where do source material? What do you mean? Where do I get source material? Um, I mean, there's lots of um, there's lots of academic uh, journals on this kind of stuff, um, and um, you know, I just kind of get it from uh, using uh, library databases. Uh, you can you can look up the uh, journal articles. So technically, I didn't. I don't have to. Uh, never have to leave my house to do uh, research. But um, oh, I'm gonna need another uh, sensor. Um, but I like to because I'm just much more productive when I'm not at home. Uh, also, I need more uh, more frame blocks so let's go get some more frame blocks and um, yeah so there are like authors from kind of all over the place um, of course a number of I'd say about half of the authors are from the region Um, oh yes, I wanted more uh, rebar frame blocks. Mm, rebar frame blocks. Okay, maybe not that many. Uh, let's say 300. All right, so that'll get to work. Um, should I try to make more concrete? Probably. Uh, yes, there we go. Ooh, nice. We have some crushed sand in here. All right, concrete mix. How much can you make? Uh, let's say 800 here. 800 here. And sure, the rest there. And uh, we're gonna need more crushed sand. <clears throat> so let's make like a thousand crushed sand here. And another thousand crushed sand here. And, oops. And like 900 crushed sand here, there we go. Oh. I should uh, get some more stone being converted into cement too. All right. Uh, did I get that sensor, by the way? No, I didn't.
Oh, I never, uh, I never set the build sensor. Or did I grab it already? Nope. Okay. Motion sensor. I need the uh, mechanical and electrical parts. Let's actually make a few of these. Um, just because it would be handy to have around. Um, also, I don't think I'll be making more powered uh, bolt doors because they're just they're just kind of annoying. Um, maybe make another hundred forged steel, another hundred forged iron. up the one one uh, motion sensor that should be enough for now okay do 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 we'll get back to work uh, carving out some garage space Celebratory whiskey as well. Uh, I could actually use a bit of cobblestone blocks, uh, rocks. <clears throat> so I should go get some clay. So why don't I go uh, just dig up some clay out here? Hey, thanks, Sippy. I think that'll be enough uh, cobblestone rocks to upgrade um, the this, these little bits here. Do do do. Oh, thank you very much, Sippy. That um, boost melee is so good. I forgot to close the uh, garage door behind me. So I'm gonna have to go uh, shut that off so I stop hearing the garage door opening and closing. Yeah, the whiskey's kicking in. <laughs> Already affecting my judgment. All right, I guess we can place the wire flame, wire frame blocks. Um, do, do, do. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, looks like I have the cobblestone required. Perfect. And... Okay, well, let's get this, uh, this row uh, dug out. Do, 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 do. Same here. 
Do, do. Right, we're out of stamina. That's a okay. okay. We can just spend a bit of time rebuilding while we uh, wait for the stamina to recover. Okay, and it has uh, also where uh, um, it uh, it seems like a reinforced rebar block can withstand one hit from a demo guy because um, you guys can actually street um, spawn demo guys now. Um, because last time while I was working on what will be the um, kind of like the the horde fighting area of the base, um, Merrick, uh, friendly commissar, spawned a a few um, a few demo guys. So we 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 saw some demo guys last stream. Um, So yeah, reinforced block can just barely. Um... Am I also hitting my truck there? I was. Yeah. Um... But a. Um... Yeah, but heavily, heavily damaged. Um like lost about half of its uh a bit over half of its health um up close if i reinforce them to the uh steel blocks they might hold But that will be pretty expensive. <clears throat> Thank you, Zippy. Um, so I might just do it for the pillars. Yeah, even the still will die pretty quickly. Um, But I think it'll it'll still be fine. I don't think I'll be doing um, all that many horde knights there. Uh, sea fusion, because um, probably the um, the uh, the long play will be done fairly soon. Because um, basically, all I have left to do is um, build up the base to uh, a point I'm satisfied with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what is the what is the meta? In anyway, I don't I don't actually know what it is. Because I have I have uh, refused to do any uh, real research into the game. Slash have not bothered to do any real research into the game. Oh yeah, I have the uh, the thing. I shouldn't be doing that. Pro streamer here, yeah. <laughs> well, it's more I haven't had the. Uh, a lot of this long play has happened while. Uh, <clears throat> near the end of my uh, school term and also I like I kind of just play this game uh, to pick up and kind of goof around with now it's specifically designed to break zombie AI you can AFK in the structure and zombies cannot kill you oh huh
I imagine it's some kind of tower or something. That sounds incredibly lame, though, so I won't be doing that. In the um, multiplayer server I used to play in with uh, Freaky Name, a lot of people would go and um, hang out in a point of interest for the Horde Knight and just kind of do temporary, <clears throat> temporary fortifications. And I always thought that was kind of a fun way to do it. By block, we're getting there. Oh no, no, don't don't shoot the rebar blocks. No, okay, there we go. Do, do. All right. Uh, I guess we may as well keep working on the ceiling here. Zombie pathing, how blocks interact with the world, how zombies see blocks. Huh, interesting. I mean, a base I had in the um, In the old MP uh, server I used to play in, <clears throat> took pretty serious advantage of um, the zombies AI. It was built into the side of a cliff. Um, and not like, and it was like a cliff that was sort of carved out by a, uh, by a POI. Um, so the walls were like really short, were really um, severe. <clears throat> and the way I had built it meant that uh, the zombies always seemed to spawn at the bottom of the cliffs. At the bottom of the cliff. Um... Oh no. I've just trapped myself, haven't I? Oh dear. That's why I grabbed another sensor. It's okay. We can mine our way out of here. Ooh, thank you. As if he's pumping up that, uh, that pool. Do, do. I should probably use it to uh, get out of this prison I placed myself in. Road to 3k, yeah. <laughs> do, do. Thanks for the Energex. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost at 3k. Alright, great. 
time to call on an exploity boy? I mean, if you really want to, it's it's there. It's on the uh, list of things you can you can do. So there's nothing I can do to stop you if you uh, if you so choose to do that. Okay, and you also go into you. Oh, right, but you have to go into the door. Okay. Nice. Okay, great. <clears throat> So you go there. Well, it sounds like we've got a a doggo out there. He's trying to get at me too. Uh... Come on. Where you at, doggo? Where is it? Could hear the doggo. That's weird. Oh, is all are all my plants ready? They are. Uh, we should harvest the plants. All right. I'm actually not sure why I'm bothering with the um, hops plants because I uh, I can't actually I can't actually make beer. Like I just don't know how. Doo -doo. Oh shoot. Um, Go to drop something. Let's get rid of the sand. Get rid of that random grass. This tin can. Don't need it. Well, I ended up picking up the uh, tin can again. Get out of here. Eat this blueberry. Where are you, doggo? A cat up the tree? I guess so. Oh, I know what I could do to uh, collect the plants. Put some junk in storage. Oh, I had a bunch of stuff in the car. Dang. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't need to be carrying all these rocks on us. Well, actually, I want those seeds. May as well plant the hops. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go back over there. Let's definitely want to keep things rolling in terms of harvesting. seed yeah definitely want to replant those uh, did I have any other seeds I collected accidentally doesn't seem like it yeah okay we're good all right all right we're getting so close
do do Oh shoot, I have a uh, increased melee damage. Definitely want to be taking advantage of that. Hey, thanks for the repair. That is actually super helpful. So I'm pretty sure it repairs um, all the clothing I have on too, uh, so like all the armor and stuff, um, which I often forget to repair. So it's very handy. Alright, so that's the wall there. Doo -doo. You're going to be the back wall. This is the other wall. Okay. And you guys meet up right in the corner here. Oops. Okay. Oh no. This way, buddy. Come on. Come on. Over here. Come on. Away from the garage. There we go. Time to run. <laughs> Man. They uh, they do a lot of damage to uh, to the ground. It was rather rude there, uh, Strudel. You could have done some uh, real damage to my garage. Which I'm sure you didn't intend to do. Who could see a glorious thing like this garage and want to damage it? It's just inconceivable. I was a building inspector. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's totally the intent. Yeah, that's right. I guess if I had. Uh... It's true, I could have tried to kill him in a specific spot. It would have cleared a, a good chunk of the uh, terrain. It's kind of a shame you can't use, um, you can't really use dynamite like that in the game. I mean, I guess you can, sort of. But not very practically. Do, do. Thanks for the energize, Zippy. Do, do. Like, we're almost there. So close to finishing this crash. Well, this part of the crash. There'll be more work to come afterwards. Do, 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 do.
Okay. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? Good. Have a extra reinforced concrete block there. Be hidden from view so no one will know. done <laughs> we're almost there let's go a little bit more oh. okay is that actually that's yeah, fine okay do, do, do. Oh, we gotta go back to the uh... Ooh. Well, not yet, anyway. So we just got... Oh, no! That was a concrete block I just destroyed. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. Too swole, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go pick up more rebar blocks. We may as well grab some uh, some junk while we're at it. Do 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 do. Okay, uh, so this is some lead, so we may as well melt that down, that's brass, and you can go in the food and drink thing. How are you doing? Okay, rock goods, you doing there? Um, what happened to my? Oh, that's they're all in the car. That's what happened. Uh, and actually, I should just go fill the. Fill those up with water. Oh, they're going. They are definitely going. Um, we are approaching, approaching uh, completion of the garage, which is very exciting. And... Um, I'll be starting work on the um, the hatch from the garage up to the uh, the ground level, mm. or up to uh, this this like upper area here. <laughs> New face is beginning to look like the old days. No, 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 no. It's not at all. This has a um, has significant design departures. If 
For instance, uh, this two-door garage is dug into the side of a hill. Um... <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to pick up my, uh, my rebar blocks. Also, the garage is made out of concrete blocks, not cobblestone blocks. Totally different. Copyright strike incoming. <laughs> uh, we should have cement. Uh, rebar blocks. We should probably make even more rebar blocks. Uh, let's make another 200 of them. Okay. Uh, I've got a little bit of wood. Uh, let's go get some more of that. That's my fire axe. How experienced with the USSR am I? Uh, I've I've done like. Basically, all my time in Hawaii 4 has been time with the USSR, um, but I haven't played. Um, I haven't played for at least a couple DLCs. I think the last DLC I played with was um, the um, the espionage one. Um, but even then, I only played it uh, with a uh, roommate in uh, like a couple MP, MP sessions. Uh, so I know they have a, a whole new um, focus tree, but I haven't seen it or like done anything with it. So it'll be fairly new to me. Um, Probably, yeah. It's a fun tree. Oh, there you go. That's good. Uh... Okay. And honestly, like, I don't know. I think that'll be that would be the the most fun as an experience uh, for an MP. a bunch of people who like don't really know what they're doing I think it'd be a good time we just have to all gang up on roommate just whatever faction he is we, we have to all work to kill him because he has for sure the most experience Yeah, I, I agree as well. Uh, right. So, I've got a bunch of junk on me here. And uh, just go drop all that stuff off. What time is it? Oh, it's almost midnight. We'll probably go till 1 a.m., I think. Uh, I might have some ingredients for um, some fun foodstuffs. Uh, I should uh, take a look after. See what food I can craft. What does broken glass smell down to? Sand? Yeah, it turns into sand. Cool. Mm. Go in there. Consider you a raw material. Rocks, you're definitely raw materials. Hey, you're just for trader dumping. Let's go in there. I should go get some some coal coal soon. Um, so I'm gonna need more gunpowder. And actually, speaking of.
Uh, let's see how many bullets I can make. Seven six two ammo. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the choke point is gunpowder. Although I can make, uh, I can do like two hundred rounds here. I guess I could make the. Uh, oh, I can't make the boxes because I haven't. Uh, I haven't learned how. Uh, let's say 250 here. There we go. Mm. So yeah, I probably should go get some... Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of bullets. It's probably fine for now. But definitely after this Horde Knight, I should go, uh, after the next Horde Knight, I should go um, get some coal so I can replenish my uh, ammo stocks. <laughs> Do you think the US is going to be rough? Yeah. Oh, are you looking to go on the uh, Team Fascist? to annihilate you. I intend to play as Soviet as possible. Um, Alright, what do I need again for concrete mix? Crushed sand, cement, and small stones. Right. Lots of small stones. Mm, got some cement. You got more cement for me? Okay. How about you? You do? Great. Uh, let's make more, more cement. Man, you need so much small stones to uh, make cement. Smelt that stone down. Make more small stones, I do. Mm, sure. All right, concrete. There you go. So let's go. Let's go finish up the main room of the garage. Oh, I've gone the wrong way again. Yeah, I need to go this way. Oops, sprained my leg jumping off the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we go. Great. And Beautiful. We've uh, we finished the garage, and oh, there's the screamer. There we go. I think it's got. Uh, Reasonably roomy. Let's 
so I can turn around in it. Okay. Next order of business is uh, creating the uh, the hatch in the back. That's going to be going out to uh, the top. Ooh, thank you for that uh, damage boost. I wonder if we'll find more resources down here or if it's just all going to be uh, stone. like this yeah at least that wide and I think I'll leave the um, I'll leave the edges uh, of the wall uh, rough stone Ooh, thank you for the energize That garage is a work of art. Doo -doo -doo. So I'm not sure how far into the hill I want to go. Um, I think a good um, ten tiles or so, and then we'll we'll go straight up. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four. Four tiles deep. Mm. I really don't want it to go even further than that. <clears throat> do, do. Ooh, thank you. So that was a whole double row more. Okay. Where are you getting there? Yeah, I think 
I want it to be about three tiles high. Thank you for the energize. I wonder if we'll break um, we'll break three thousand points and the repair. Thank you very much. We might. Any food on me? Yeah, we can eat the sham. I need a titanium pickaxe. Yeah, what I really need is a uh, is an auger. That would make this all go much faster. Yeah, go commander, I have a murder eyes. You're right. Yeah, this has been um, a very friendly uh, stream so far. All we've had is uh, all we've had is Strudel. He doesn't have the p deep pockets to uh, the deep points pockets to throw all kinds of bad things at me. See fusion around for a bit, but see fusion also doesn't seem uh, all that keen on messing with me in terms of like spawning things to uh, to hurt me. At least I haven't noticed him do that. It's not like Merrick or uh... well, Merrick's the big one. <laughs> Merrick or Lizard. Yeah, probably. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, but this uh, this long play is going to be wrapping up pretty soon. I imagine it'll just be a few more sessions. Because basically it's just going to be... Um, all the next sessions are going to be me working on my base until it's at a... Uh, at a point where I'm, uh, I'm sufficiently pleased with it. Hmm. Uh, the repair must do a very small amount of repair. It feels like it doesn't do much. Um, so for sure, the next option will Jedi Outcast will be one of the options. Uh oh, a white. Oh dear. I was talking too much about uh, how no one was hurting me. Um, so one of them, one of the options is for sure going to be Jedi Outcast one and two. Yeah, the whites are uh, are pretty spooky. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for sure, for sure them, and then um, I think probably the I think I might run run the vote on Tuesday after the um, my second Caesar three stream, and um, I'll um, I'll run I'll run the wheel. Um, tomorrow after my season three stream um so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all my um because i have a list of uh, potential long play games i'm going to put them all on a wheel and i'll randomly select four uh just by spinning the wheel on stream and um and then we'll have the uh, long play vote on tuesday uh, between our five options whatever they are
Oh, clay. I can't have gone through uh, all the way through. Well, I guess I guess it's possible. This being clay is concerning. I don't want it to be... I don't want it to go all the way through. Uh, let's have it start to go up here. So this will be the point where we go up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually worried that I've come through to the other side of the island. Um, let's see. Oh crap, I have. Yeah, I more or less have come all the way through. I want it to actually be come out about here, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, let's wall all this off. Because I don't want to risk um, zombies trying to um, like chew their way through all this stuff. It's, it's, it's roughly where I want it to be. So I, I probably should have done that. Ooh, thanks for the melee boost, Wellington. Uh, I'm going to clear as much as I can facing up. like the claim block so the claim block is a um, is limited to um, that highlighted area so like even though I've built all this stuff up here um, it's not um, it's not inside my claim block Like twenty of them. Yeah. So I don't. So because this is um, I think because all this stuff is underground. Um, oh, do you mean like people spawning stuff? Um. Because all the stuff is underground, I don't think um, I don't think things zombies will ever spawn inside of it. Uh, but I, they do, they will spawn. Um, Uh, 
uh, they will spawn kind of on the um, like the edge of the um, I mean I I don't think they'll spawn because um, in the at least the way it worked in the uh, multiplayer server I was in oh thanks for the regen um, whoops that's not what I wanted um, I kind of that in that server they gave you two claim blocks so you could have like a larger base and I had a um, I had one part of the base dug dug into literally the side of the cliff and then I had another little bit of the base uh, built on the peak of the mountain and there was an underground tunnel uh, that went between them um, and the claim blocks didn't cover like a pretty large section of the uh, underground tunnel um, but um, it never really um, It never kind of mattered because um, those underground sections zombies never spawned in. Now if it was a underground POI that had a zombie I think then they would uh, they would spawn. Um, it took, uh, quite a long time, yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a sig significant undertaking. Um, digging out the, um, digging out the cliff base took a long time as well. But it wasn't too bad because, um... I had my friends uh, Freaky Name and Shek Nova also in the um, also in the server, and um, they um, they helped me out because they were they were at a much higher game state than I was, or they they had leveled a lot more than I had, um, and they gave me stuff like. Um, like steel tools or whatever when I didn't have uh, steel tools yet. Um, and they also, um, they gave me like augers. They gave me a, an auger like, so I had an auger way before uh, you would normally have one. Ah, shoot, it's too bad I didn't. Uh, maybe I should have dug down with the, uh, should have dug down from there first. So where is it brought me out? Over here. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, like, just kind of. That's that's a big part of what I like in this game is you. Uh, you just you get to build pretty much. Um, you can build anything really. Um, because the. Um, you can also, because like you can shape your uh, your blocks a bit differently and stuff. Which is pretty neat. Um, you are a bit limited in terms of like the textures and stuff, I guess. 
No, we're out of concrete. All right, that's fine. We just have to uh, wander up the hill over here. The symmetry, though? What do you mean? Did I make it asymmetrical? Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Whoop. So I got one concrete block there. Put one there. Oh, the uh, yeah, the ladder isn't because I uh, I made this. Hmm. Yeah, we can we can definitely fix that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be one block. Uh, one block further in. Also, we need a bit of space here. Do, do, do. Definitely gonna break a leg at some point, uh, messing around with this thing. All right. There we go, that's much better. Yeah, that way we got a space on either side. should I do here? <clears throat> Oop. So like how high up do I want this? Like this is technically fine. <clears throat> but I think it would be neat to have it come out of the hill here. Uh, so let's do what is it? Uh, wood catwalks. Uh, I don't know, make like 20 of them. Is that a reasonable height? I think it is. Okay, so do one more layer like this. Side here, we'll have uh, wooden catwalks on either side, coming all the way around. And I'll just kind of build this into the side of the cliff, I think. So I 
think that'd be that'd be kind of cool. Mm. This is just all going to. So basically, I want the I want a door right here. Uh, yes, you can make uh, reinforced glass blocks. So you can have windows. All right, uh, I'm pretty well out of food. I may as well go get some more food and actually make make some food. cement do I have? Uh, probably not enough. Okay. Let's get this guy going. Just need some wood. It's very hard to have enough um, enough cement. And make more bullet tips. All right. Uh, what was I going to do? Right, I was going to make food. We can make some drinks and stuff too while we're at it. Uh, Everything I'm likely to need. Oh, potatoes. I want those potatoes. Mm, sure, we may as well bring the moldy bread with us. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's see, what can we make? Oh, we can make meat stew. Uh, that's great. Mm, yeah, delicious moldy bread. Uh, ah, we just don't have enough corn. Uh, enough corn. That's the real uh, barrier. Uh, could be cornbread. Um, I don't actually know. I don't know that cornbread is actually all that good. As a, uh, as like a thing. I think boiled meat is actually pretty is pretty decent. So we'll make a bunch of boiled meat. Uh, I can make pumpkin bread. Oh, I know, I can't. Right, we need eggs for this. Mm, golden rod tea. Can make red tea. Or actually herbal antidotes. Oh, because I could actually make uh, herbal antibiotics. I just need um, murky water and some nitrates. Mm. 
Ups. Yeah, okay. That took up all my blueberries. That's fine. So I could make corn on the cob, or cornbread, or baked potatoes. But I think I'd rather keep those things um, as potential ingredients. Keep the boiled meat for eating. Yeah, I should be able to make some coffee too. Mm. Any other drinks I can make? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I think I have some. I'm pretty sure I have some yucca fruit. Yeah. Yeah, it can make yucca juice. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to work on this thing over here. stamina. Ah, there we go. Hey, uh, Kaladin, how you doing? Do -do. A day of very successful streams. Nice. Victorious, nice. That's all we can ask for. Okay, so I think yeah, I think I'm gonna want one more block of height and then a ceiling. For that, we will be needing our, our these guys, and cement, if any. Oh, we know I have cement already. Yeah, that's all I need. Okay. Oh, hey, Rombic. <laughs> Okay. Hey, thanks for the uh, energize, right, Rombic? Uh, not sure that I'll be able to use it really. Well, I'll be using it in a moment, actually. Maybe I should put it to use now. 
instead of continuing to uh, build stuff up like that. Yeah, this is a bit what I was afraid of. I have uh, mostly dug away uh, whatever there there was of this hill. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, thanks for the uh, the boost there, Jar. Okay. Uh, this is the um, this is the hatch from the garage up to the main level of the base. So we'll come out here, and we can see the base up the uh, up the hill there. shouldn't attract too much attention from zombies this area here because um, I won't be hanging out in it during uh, horde nights or anything so it should be uh, largely ignored by them down or the zombie bird down okay yeah I don't like that so this little bit here has got to go it's kind of a problem with um, trying to have a natural Trying to build into uh, hillsides, you you only you often end up with like a, a sharp edge somewhere, which is what I was trying to avoid. But so I'm gonna come around to over to here. Should I just, uh... yeah, why not? Well, okay. Maybe it's like repairing the land block, maybe fix that. Okay. So like if I hmm. No, there's no Okay, what if I were to do that? Oh, okay. All 
You know what? That almost works. <laughs> uh... Okay, that's more the look I was going for. Uh... It's a very magic nail gun. Uh, yeah, this bit is not so much what I'm looking for. Mm. Yeah, sadly, it's just... Uh, there just isn't quite enough hill here for our, what I was hoping for. So it just kind of ends up, <laughs> it's basically going to end up being like a little concrete pillbox. Oh well. Oops. For fighting off the Americans, yeah, these yeah. zombies. <laughs> right, I could go on top, and because I think there are um, there are topsoil blocks, so I could dig this out the way I want to. And so, what is it? Topsoil, yeah. So there, you can make topsoil blocks. So let's try making like twenty of them, just to see what it looks like. Um, we'll see if I can't get some more concrete. Yeah, I have it like kind of hidden. So I might, uh, I might just cover the the whole outside of this thing in in topsoil blocks. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, for aesthetics. Mm, concrete. Concrete mix, we need uh, lots of cement. Quite a few small stones. Did I leave small stones behind? I did, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they haven't figured that part out yet. Mm. All right, cement remains the choke point. The vulture drones. <laughs> yeah, the spy vultures.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that works quite well. I like it. Nice, this is exactly the solution to uh, to my issues. Good, good. Uh, so yeah, let's make a bunch of those. And now I can I can safely carve this out because I can just code it in. Uh, yeah, I mean I'll um, it'll take a bit of I'll I'll work at it a little bit, but. Um, Ooh, thank you. But the idea is, uh, is there, basically. Actually going to yeah, scrap that powered vault door because I don't want a powered vault door. I want a unpowered one because the the powered vault doors you have to um, you have to set up like a whole electric network, which is just kind of annoying. What do I need? I've got the steel, I need springs and mechanical parts. Springs and mechanical parts. Do I really not have more springs? Okay, I have a ton of springs. Cool. And let's make a couple of old doors. Uh, actually, no, I don't want a vault hatch, so we're, we're fine. Is that uh, cement done yet? Not cement, concrete. It's getting there. said <laughs> how you doing well uh, this is also a uh, unusually late stream for me uh, I finished my um, I finished my term paper so uh, this is the celebratory result nice all right so, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go one deeper here. <laughs> so still in it. Yeah. 
Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I want... Yeah, another whole layer here. It's going to go around the eventual vault door. Sure, it'll be uh, it'll be like that. Okay, and yeah, I need more concrete mix. Got a bit more. Can I make more? I can make a bit more. Uh, say 200 here, 125 here, and as much more up there as I can. Let's make gravel blocks, but I don't need that. And let's gobble down some more meat because our our guy is hungry. Again, uh, I wonder if that bolt door is done. Nice, bolt doors are done. So yeah, the bolt door goes there. here cool this will be a flagstone plate very nice okay This is our secret passage into the garage. I come back up this way. Come through here, and we're up at the main base. Um, but. <clears throat> need more, more heck and concrete despite having two forges committed to um, just pumping out cement um, it's just not enough in here. Ooh. Thanks. Where is the comic block? <laughs> well, we're working on it. We're working on it and building a nice um, communist style block here. There you go. 
All right. Ah. Need just a tiny bit more cement. Wait, not cement, concrete. Kushovka, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this is more uh, this is a more Albanian-looking thing. There we go. <laughs> Just built into the side of the hill. Entirely in dirt. Yeah, maybe the shake coating. <laughs> well, that's um. Yeah, I agree, Def said. That's why I'm um, I'm trying to uh, hide it under uh, the uh, this dirt here. Preparing for the Z artillery, yeah. Oops. I mean, they uh, the Zeds now have uh, can now spawn demo men. Although I don't know if they they'll spawn on their own, like during horde nights or not. Look a bit odd that it's uh, sticking out the way it is, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure the Zeds won't notice. Ah. Vulture. All right, no problem. Z Air Force is no match for uh, power of knife. I mean, they're, they're still a bit of a threat. Um, but they're ma mainly a threat when I'm uh, distracted. 
right like as a addition to a whole bunch of other things because they're definitely like a um, they're definitely more of a like a glass cannon so they'll do they'll do a lot of damage but um, it's very easy for me to kill them Taking too much ice cream? Hmm. Is that even such a thing possible? <laughs> Very inconspicuous. in the way. You got a pint? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good amount of ice cream. Oh, because you didn't want to cook? <laughs> yeah, that uh, a pint of ice cream is not a meal replacement. Well, it should not be a meal replacement. I am very pleased with this. All right. Okay. So, uh, I also want to finish this area off. seamless continuation of bridge to uh, garage I mean I guess um, in terms of uh, <laughs> you know pure amount of calories um, I guess more what I mean is you you shouldn't eat a <laughs> pint of ice cream as a replacement for a meal as well. Yeah. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've totally been there. I've eaten my share of pints of ice cream. Definitely did not feel good after doing it in in any <laughs> in any way, shape, or form, but Okay. Cobblestone rocks. 
flagstone blocks. Okay. It's only 300 calories. Okay. Well, there you go. It's practically uh, diet food then. Oh, didn't want to do that. Nice path that comes all the way up to here. Um, although, before I do that, I should probably finish working on my uh, sort of combat area. Uh, so, end goal was to build one of every vehicle, which I have done. Um, so I have uh, the full complement of vehicles, and so now we're, we've moved on to the build a badass base uh, part of the goals, um, which is this is part, part of. So we've got our uh, two-door garage, which is the middle-class dream, and then we've got this uh, secret tunnel that comes out to here uh, eventually I'm gonna build like a, an actual path that comes all the way up to uh, the main base here which is where I have all my crafting stuff um, and that is where I'm going to be uh, fighting the zombies Um, and is the next area I need to work on. The wonder, oh, well, there you go. Not quite at the middle class dream. I'm just being silly. Uh, I make no assumptions of your socioeconomic class. Um, okay. <laughs> Kalanen regrets nothing uh, after eating his pint of ice cream. There you go. It's the way to be. Live without regrets. You might change your mind in the morning? Yeah usually how it goes. Um, yeah, that definitely should not have been made out of... Uh, oh yeah, it's kind of an, it's kind of an annoying thing. Um, so, wood frame blocks, I need three. Uh oh, a white, ow! Uh, right, where are my wood frame blocks? Here they are. Can spawn the ice cream. <laughs> I don't know, I'm minus some ice cream. Uh, right, I, I just have whiskey. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, Wood support beam. Oh, neat. Uh... 
Okay, it looks like it's uh, at least touching the ground there. Uh, okay, I need more cobblestone rocks. I didn't actually tell it to craft. So the annoying thing is you can make these shapes out of um, cobblestone rocks and then turn them into cement, but you can't make them with the rebar, uh, rebar blocks, which is just weird. So we're going to make these posts extra reinforced. No, I'm out of cement. And... But I do have uh, this set up and ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the crafting in this is a bit silly, but... Uh... I'm willing to forgive it for the um, the creative freedoms it allows you. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have more of those um, wood frame blocks. Those take forged iron, all right. Do, do, do. Okay. And these are being upgraded directly to forged iron. Okay. So hopefully these will actually uh, resist a uh, a demo guy blowing up on them. Here's hoping anyway. Ooh. Thanks for the resources, Jai. Well, we're almost there. We're almost over 3,000. Um, all right. Let's run back upstairs. Oop, doggo. Where is it? Hey! Bad dog. Ah, just feathers. I want to be, make another uh, one of the, those tunnel hatches so I don't have to keep making that awkward, really awkward climb up this hill. Um, yeah. yeah, the uh, poor doggos haven't uh, done so well. Mm. Right, do we have more cement? Not that much more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a treat of my flesh. Man, 
takes so much concrete. It takes so painfully slow to uh, actually make the concrete. So I need more forged steel. This has a fair bit of iron in it. Uh, forge steel, please. A lot more of it. Mm, may as well toss this lead in here. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Oh well. Okay. Mm, put that nitrate in there. work on this thing. Oof. So heavy on the uh, on the steel. So they'll come around all the way over here, come up here, and they get punched off by this turret. Um, but in the meantime, um, a lot of this is pretty exposed. So um, I should make a, a little... Uh, kind of a combat cage so that um, it can't get to me. Uh, bars. Or at least so birds can't uh, can't get me. Oh, okay. I uh, I guess I hit the uh, the ground there. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Hmm. Well, let's climb up and we can get our uh, splint <laughs> from the base. Ooh, thanks for the regen. No, I don't have to. So Ragdoll actually makes um, all the surrounding zombies fall on the ground uh, rhombic. Just figured I would let you know since I am assuming um, you meant that to hurt me. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, you're here now. Okay, just checking. So I've completed my uh, my garage, Merrick.
Hmm. All right, I used a uh, half block, so. Hmm. And now these are floating in the air. That's oh, terrible. I hate that. Thank you. <laughs> it just looks so ugly. I hate that. Why did I use half blocks? Ugh, it cost me so much concrete to uh, redo it to. on the face of it would be okay so let's do that <laughs> it's not Great, but it's better than the alternative. So we'll do that. Okay. This is where I'm going to be fighting the uh, the zombie horde. So, uh, zombies will very conveniently run single file along uh, this walkway underneath that I can shoot down at them from. Uh, then they climb the ladder, and the punch turret will just punch them right off. They'll fall in the water, swim all the way back to here, and run along this little gangplank again. That's the that's the idea anyway. And what I'm what I'm adding to it is a a cage that will keep buzzards out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Yeah, the demolisher zombies uh, will cause a problem. I'm not sure if... Well, actually, no. This space is going to be large enough that I think a, I think a demolisher zombie would actually spawn inside this, this square. Um... So yeah, that's a problem. Hmm. So maybe I just make a, a small area with bars in case uh, well, well actually will that stop me from falling off the edge? It won't, okay. I think I'm going to put two bars all the way around just to stop me from walking off the edge accidentally. Um, and then we'll have a one small cage section. Which I can make with uh, <laughs> reinforced steel, uh, which I'll eventually reinforce with like steel and stuff. Uh, let's go chop down this tree. We need more wood. Oh. Run! Run, run, run! 
Gosh. Uh. The uh, <laughs> he'll spawn like right behind me is pretty rough. wood bars. I also want to um, um, have some um, whatchamacallit um, some auto turrets. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll build little platforms separate from these walkways with auto turrets on them that are looking at the uh, walkways and then they can uh, gun down the uh, gun down the zombies as they run at me demo is spammable oh no that's a that's a terrifying thought Day a horde day. Uh, it might be. Hmm. Do I fight it? Do I fight this horde here? Or do I run over and is this a multiple of seven? Ninety-one. I had too much whiskey to figure this out. I'll find out later. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <sighs> no. I hate that. That is absolutely haram. Uh, okay. Do -do -do. Nope. So this thing now has safety railings. So I won't go uh, and accidentally run off the edge. But I think I could still jump off the edge if I really wanted to. Get some more wood. Let, let's test that. Oh yeah, I can jump off the edge if I really need to. Oops, just hurt my leg there. Um, oh yeah, I would also like to go get more steel, I think. I think those will all be reinforced concrete now. So nowadays, absolute worst case scenario, I could always run and jump in my helicopter and fly away. <laughs> exactly. See you, Jar. Well, have a good work day uh, there, Merrick. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later when uh, after I've had some sleep. 
time is it? Oh my god, it's 1.30. Jesus. Alright, I should actually probably go to bed. Uh, but I still have whiskey to drink. Well, we'll finish the whiskey. And then, uh, that'll probably call us one. Alright. So there's some stew. Surely I mean tabernacle. Why would I mean tabernacle? <laughs> An hour and a half there. <sighs> Are you on the East Coast? Um, Death's head? Oh. Kibakua curse, yeah. I mean, I know it is, but it wasn't really a uh, tabernak moment, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's do that one too. Ah, you're on the west coast. Okay. That makes more sense. So I figured 1 a.m. would be well, a pretty weird time to start a... Uh, well, 1.30 a.m. would be a pretty weird time to start an overnight shift. But like midnight makes sense. Uh, or 11. Yeah, it's probably more like 11. Uh, right, got some wood. Let's make more bars. Mm. All right, a little battle cage is coming along. Now, I do have a vault door, which I can use to uh, keep the baddies out of it. Cursing quality act of 72. Hmm. Uh, hmm. What can I do to make this not so hideous? Uh, ladder, maybe? Make a cage hanging off the cage? Uh oh. Huh. Does he have like a hard time with these bars or something? I don't know. Huh. His pathing was pretty weird there. It's almost like he didn't want to run on the bars. Interesting. Oh no. Uh nope, don't don't want you around here. Come on down. Yeah, the uh, um, 
those exploded guys actually take quite a bit of a beating. Oh, where's the white? Oh, we can... Uh... This is an opportunity to show off uh, my my descent defensive setup. Oh no! Damn it! Thanks for the regen. Exploity boys. Don't always explode. <clears throat> Interesting. I wonder if they'll explode eventually. Got everything except the battle rig, yeah. Oh, you haven't even come close to draining my my ammo supplies. I know currently I only have sixty-seven bullets in reserve, but um just you wait and see. And it is a horde night. Uh-huh. Hmm. Do I fight the zombies here or do I do I go to po Fort Poopy Pants? You know what? Why don't we have a pull? Let's have a pull. Uh, fight the zombies here. All right, Fort. Poopy pants. Poopy pants. Here. Alright. We'll have a two minute pull. You guys get to decide. It's just a straight vote. No tomfoolery with points or anything. Uh, there we go. Now I have over a thousand rounds. So yeah, got um, over 600 round, spare rounds of 9 mils, and I guess I could, ha I could have more shotgun rounds, although the shotgun's going to be pretty well a fallback gun. All right. I'm not actually using concrete. All right, let's go. Oh, did I pick up any steel? No, I didn't pick up the extra steel. Oh. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. So. Yeah, we're gonna... I gotta make us, like, I think just one, one corner with, uh, I, with, like, a cage roof will be okay. Oh, right, I also want to finish building this uh, safety guard whale. Well. Okay, the, the vote says here. So we'll, we'll fight them where we stand. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure chat would never uh, Would never betray me. Okay, great. So to do this because then it's a vault door hanging in midair but I kind of have to um, I mean there's uh, there's enough challenge pain especially on a uh, with a, um, a CC style uh, thing weird okay well that still works then uh, even though it's floating in the air um, I need more wood so let's scrap those I don't plan on using them and we need more wood bars uh, let's get rid of those Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the challenge is more from from chat than uh, than the game really. Um, but I don't think the game is really about um, necessarily challenging gameplay so much as um. Although um, the blood moons actually uh, are supposed to get worse, um, the thing is because of chat, my game state is kind of like unnaturally low. Uh, so my blood moons aren't actually all that bad. Although they might start being pretty bad now since you guys are able to um, spawn. Um, Whatchamacallit, uh, demolish your zombies. Uh, forged iron. Mm, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. All those extra bullets. Okay. Well, I think with almost 2,000 bullets, that'll be enough. Uh, let's make some more wood bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Four poopy pants would have been pretty fun, uh, but I'm actually fairly eager to uh, give this thing a try. Keep falling off. <sighs> yeah, I think the paper is going to be fine. Um, I'm kind of at the point where. Um, 
like pretty well anything I hand in will will get like an A or a B. Um, So once you get to the master's level, it's just like, um, yeah, <laughs> the, um, well, the whiskey might be having something to do with that. Um, it's also 1 a.m. Um, the paper was on um, patronage and nationalism in, um, in Russia and the Republic of Tatarstan, which is a federal subject of Russia. Um, but it's, um, well, well known in kind of, um, um, Russia kind of, uh, Russian, well, it's well known with, uh, people who, who study the area, uh, as a, um, Is a very kind of like independently minded region. Um, there were at one point there was like significant worries that it might be like a, uh, a second Chechnya kind of thing, where you know they uh, they could potentially want to separate and maybe that could turn into a um, a nasty conflict. Um, that of course never happened, but um, but there was there was a at one time there was a fear that that could have happened. Um, so yeah, basically, I uh, I dis I discussed uh, patronage, so like uh, that stuff like. Um, you know, fancy guy gets you a job in the government, and um, basically you you owe that guy big time. Um, so you you more or less do whatever he wants you to do. Um, so that gives he, him a um, like a loyal person that's kind of like in his back pocket. And um, you, as his client, uh, you he he protects you from like legal repercussions from skimming stuff off the top, and uh, yeah, so you get to make a bunch of money and you know as a uh, to uh, pay for that, um, you have to do whatever he tells you to do, basically. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's actually very similar. Um, and yeah, it, it is a quite mob-like, uh, Dev said. Um, I mean, it's not a great system of government. <laughs> um, it's, it's very corrupt. So in Russia, law is uh, generally selectively applied. So um, people in charge of the legal system decide uh, who's going to be uh, intergenerational debt. Yeah, yeah, not the. Um, the Russian patron is just the networks don't usually um, don't usually uh, like bring in the their children, but um, and we can we can kind of talk about that uh, because the same kind of networks existed under the Soviet Union. It's more or less how things worked during the Soviet Union as well. 
It was just slightly, but it was just a bit less, uh, less pervasive, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, um, this is pretty much like a, a zombie mi Minecraft, but it possibly with, uh, less quality of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, they they honestly they are. Um especially um recently cuz they like they uh recently they've uh, enjoyed pretending they're like the um uh, last bastion of like uh, sort of Christian conservative value type stuff um, or like traditional European ish values um, they love talking about how um, you know like the West is uh, so they, they've kept their the West is degenerate stuff um, from like Soviet days, but instead of talking about how they're um, kind of degenerate for for like money reasons, now they're just degenerate. Now they're degenerate for uh, moral reasons. Just kind of amusing to think that the uh, Russia tries to claim a moral high ground. Um, but I mean, it's like uh, um, traditional mining other people's business style. Uh, it is almost 2 a.m. so it's uh, it's getting very late. I do not normally stay up this late. <laughs> um, should probably go to bed, but the horde knight is coming. Uh, SMG on the turrets. Well, the trouble is, these things need power, so I would need to set up like a whole, uh, a whole like generator and everything. But maybe I could do that. Hmm. I wonder if I could. Yeah, or, or very early. That's right. I shouldn't. Uh, saying it's very late is, uh, you know, assuming um, traditional uh, day night cycles, which is not fair to our overnight people. Such as Death's Head. Or Bane. I guess, because Bane has, a, I know Bane has a weird schedule. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> <It's cr> <laughs> wow, Wellington, that's free. Night folk, yeah. Uh, Being has no schedule, yeah. All right, I'm sort of he has something that sort of like a schedule. I don't know. Uh, right. So I want. I want an SMG turret set up right here. Uh, I'm going to need some things for that. So let's go build. First, let's go collect an SMG turret. And we'll, we'll figure out as we go along what things we need. It's just a 30 hour blocks. There you go. Uh, 
manufactured items. I thought for sure I had an SMG turret. Somewhere. Just hadn't used it yet. Oh, I've got electric fence posts too. Maybe I don't have an SMG turret. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, what do I need? I need three handgun parts. All right. I've got one handgun part. Uh, I think if I scrap this pistol, I will get more. am I going to need? I'm going to need a generator bank. Okay. What do you need for that generator bank? Mechanical and electrical parts. Generator bank, let's go. Uh, and I think I also need a battery bank, so I need scrap polymers for that. How many repair kits do I have? 22, that should be fine. So, battery bank, let's go. Uh, okay. SMG turret. Mm, forge steel. Oh no. Uh, I don't have the iron for that. Crap. Mm. Do I have spare iron? I do. Okay. Gonna have the time to smelt. Uh, hopefully. So it needs 23 each. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna have to let that forge for a while. Hopefully, it'll I'll have enough time. Uh, There. Mm, don't need those clay blocks anymore. Can teach those. Well, I know I have a SMG turret in um, Oh I'm not I'm not gonna have the time to make all this forge steel. Mm. Maybe I could get enough uh, if I run over to the trader. I could, yeah, I should be able to sneak a, uh, a trader run in. All right, let's do that. feeling having mm, no don't not sure what you're what you're talking about great feeling okay <laughs> it's like the heart feeling what uh, <laughs> uh I wasn't entirely sure what you're on about. Uh, all right, we're yeah, nothing in here that I want to sell. Nothing in there. Yeah, yeah, I gathered that part that much. Let's sell that. Um, flashlight mod. 
Yeah, we're gonna just sell a bunch of this junk. Uh, I actually really don't like the contact grenades or the dynamite. So why don't I go sell those? And we can maybe turn it into, well, we'll see what the trader has. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Physics in this game are fun. fuel. Well, that wasn't my driving. That was, um, that was the, uh, garage door clipping me in a weird way. All right, let's go Trader Joe. What do you got for me? Anything you like? I see your inventory. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Don't want any of it. Uh, forge steel. Give me that forge steel. That is exactly what I was hoping you would have. Um, could buy the bullet casings. Clothing. Yeah. I wouldn't mind these ears of corn. Actually, so let's buy this corn. We'll buy the potatoes too. Oh, actually, these eggs are good. Blueberries are good. Violet, all that stuff. Um, any tools? No. Great heist. Uh, Okay, that's a multiplayer thing only. Uh, cool. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friend. I am an excellent driver, Death's Head. I <laughs> don't know why where you're getting these slanderous ideas To that trade mission. Oh, I didn't sell any of this stuff. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, right, I wanted to build an SMG turret. SMG auto turret. Okay, I've got the steel I need. I need handgun parts. And good parts. I need oil. Oil. I need scrap polymers. Oh, come on, I know I have scrap polymers somewhere. Is it this box? Scrap polymers. And motion sensors. Nice motion sensors, I do, okay. SMG auto turret, let's go. All right, I've got enough stuff for exactly one of them. Uh, and let's get more steel on the go. Uh, what next? Um, I'm gonna wanna set up the um, generator and stuff. 
So let's grab this barbed wire too. Mm. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go. Uh, steal some of this stuff from from this guy. Grab a couple of the battery packs. Yeah. Okay. down to the wire. Ooh, spooky noises. Okay. Uh, okay, we don't need that. Um, definitely need to make sure we have Lots and lots of bullets on us. Um, I'm going to want to have nine mil bullets. Mm. Okay, let's make sure we eat a bunch of food. some water mm. ah, it's not done yet mm. okay well I can run down there and get all the other stuff set up I need a wire uh, wire thing uh, where is it this Do -do. Okay. Battery bank. We go in there. And generator bank. We can, yes. Where? You go in there. Um, so yeah, they can swim, but it does slow them down uh, considerably. at 22 I think the zombies actually start showing up I think I hope <laughs> all right let's go let's go let's go oh, are you not done yet come on come on come on come on come on Thank 
two. All right. Do, do, do. this guy up with uh, SMG ammo. I have it pointing this way. There we go. Uh, I don't know how these things work. Uh, let's go set them up and find out. Do -do. Oh, they actually... They get in the way, huh. So it's got to go from you to you and you to you. Okay. And this guy is just in the way, I guess. Uh, right. Right, of course. Of course that's going to hurt me. Uh, all right. Next we're going to lay down barbed wire here. Oh, damn it. So I, I want to be careful to not fall off the edge here. This is a really bad idea. Okay. 
Excellent start to the Horde Knight. Okay. <laughs> and I could just put a little patch of barbed wire right there. Oh, thank you, Zippy. You're the best. <laughs> uh, gone great. Yeah. <laughs> We can hide in this battle cage for the start. <laughs> so I really hope this works. <laughs> It'd be pretty unfortunate if uh, if I build this whole thing up and it just falls apart immediately. I think this will work. <laughs> Thanks for the bit, Zippy. Good luck. Oh, why did I even bring my shotgun? I don't have any, uh, any real quantity of bullets. So I wonder what direction they're going to be coming from. Okay, it's just... Alright, they're, uh, they're going straight for the walkway. Please, thank you. Oh, shoot. That guy didn't die. This guy's still going. Oh, anti-leech. That's basically cheating. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. The, uh... Oh, fuck. He just annihilated my door. Crap, 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 crap. Oh no. Okay, not the worst. Not the worst outcome. Oh crap, he's not dead. Thanks for the regen. Get out of here, sexy Bane Williams. Oh no. Okay. Ow. Okay. So did my turret is my turret just not working? Oh, Mare came back. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Get out of here, Strugal. 
you demolisher. Okay. No range. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a melee boost. That's not so bad. <laughs> okay, alright. Okay. Okay, they seem to not know how to get up here, so they're attacking the post, which is bad. They're doing quite a bit of damage to it. Uh, fortunately, I think I built enough... Um, Kind of surplus um, hosts down there that they won't. Um, if they destroy one, it won't. Uh... Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, one flip side to uh, the demolisher zombie. Oh, that's why they're. Uh... They're all attacking the posts. The uh, the platform got destroyed. Oh dear! Oh dear! We gotta get the. Uh, the cop zombies, because they might actually, they actually have ranged attacks, and they might even be able to hurt me. Okay. <laughs> the spiders are just going nuts trying to get at me. No one has uh, spawned any vultures. Okay. All right. Oh, thanks for the regen. That's uh, definitely something I should have uh, brought with me, is some kind of healing resources. <laughs> you know, Z Zippy is a good, a good person. He just wants to help out. Uh-oh. Ow. Ah. 
Oh no. Oh no. is bad. Okay, Demo Zombie may have actually hate saved me there. Being in water seems to mess with them. Why aren't you shooting? I have to lock me. Ah, there you go. Okay, turret still gets to shoot, at least. Nope. Well, I can't actually get to the... Uh... Oh, wait, actually, I can. Can't believe I didn't think of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the ladder got destroyed. Oh no.
Thank you, Death Said. You're the best. Back for a steam kit? Yeah, I probably should have. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to um, spend a good amount of time uh, rebuilding ammo supplies. I did not think I would uh, come anywhere close to exhausting my ammo, but uh, here we are. doing some work. That's a Commissar Merrick. Whoop. Zombie down there. Yeah, I think that this is a... Um, the game was really made... Um, it was made for multiplayer, really. Um, oh dear, that guy's gonna blow up. I think he's gonna blow up anyway. We survived the Horde Knight. Well, I survived the Horde Knight. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. The uh, the double-edged sword that is the uh, CC strudel. You guys can knock me down, but you can also lift me up. <gasps> an auger! Oh my god, we got an auger! So good. Although I've done most of my digging already. The way the cookie crumbles, yeah. Well, one of these days will be a horde night and Zippy won't be around and I'll be in trouble. <laughs> I'm 
it's true. <laughs> uh, well, it was the the vault door that just got annihilated almost immediately. Um, bits of the bars fell apart. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they really smashed the crap out of. Uh, oh dear! Look at that. That's not good. Yeah, they've uh, they've smashed the crap out of this stuff. posts holding up oh these are fine yeah okay but I do need a lot more cement yeah <laughs> when I fell on the ground and uh, I uh, I was running away and then that demo right in the middle of the whole mob blew up <laughs> the electric fence is really good too um, yeah all right well that's gonna be that's gonna be it for tonight because uh it is almost 3 a.m uh well past my bedtime uh thanks for hanging out everyone i could take a look see if anyone is uh streaming maybe we could raid into them um yeah all right uh switch over to that pre-stream scene I'll take a quick looky see. Um, definitely streamed a lot longer than I uh, was expecting to, but um, Seven Days to Die has a tendency of doing that. Uh, okay, well let's uh, let's go raid a random guy that I I follow. Uh, he's streaming something or other. I don't know what it is, but we can go say hi. That'd be fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> I snuck Toga Boy in there. Um, yeah, let's go say hi to Nomad Nomadic Jam. It's playing some kind of World War II game. Um, yeah, good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>